The Digital Dilemma, When Technology Takes Over Our Children's Minds In a world where technology is ever-present, it's easy to assume that our children are benefiting from its advancements. But what if the very devices we provide for their education are actually hindering their cognitive development? That's the argument put forth by neuroscientist Jared Cooney Horvath in his new book, The Digital Delusion, How Classroom Technology Harms Our Kids' Learning, and How to Help Them Thrive Again. Horvath's research reveals a startling truth. The laptops and screens that dominate modern classrooms may be robbing our children of their intellectual prowess. He argues that the constant consumption of information through screens leads to a decline in performance, a fragmented attention span, and a gradual loss of critical thinking skills. It's a sobering thought, especially for parents who want the best for their children. But here's the catch. It's not just about the screens. It's about the very nature of how we are using technology in education. Horvath's book delves into the reasons why, despite generations of progress, today's children might be less intellectually capable than their parents. It's a complex issue and one that many parents are grappling with. The Evidence, Why Laptops Are the Culprits Horvath's book presents a compelling case against the traditional classroom laptop. He explains that the very design of these devices encourages a different kind of learning, one that doesn't necessarily translate into better cognitive abilities. For instance, the constant notifications, the temptation to multitask, and the easy access to distractions can all contribute to a fragmented learning experience. Imagine a classroom where students are expected to focus on a single task for an extended period. In such an environment, laptops can become a hindrance rather than a help. Horvath argues that the very structure of modern education, with its emphasis on technology, might be setting our children up for a future where they struggle with the rigors of rigorous thought. The way forward, reclaiming cognitive abilities. So, what can we do to address this issue? Horvath's book offers a roadmap for reclaiming our children's cognitive abilities. It suggests a re-evaluation of our educational approach, emphasizing the importance of human interaction, traditional learning methods, and a more balanced use of technology. By doing so, we can help our children develop the skills they need to thrive in a rapidly changing world. In conclusion, while technology has its place in education, it's crucial to recognize its potential pitfalls. By understanding the impact of laptops and screens on our children's cognitive development, we can make informed decisions to ensure their intellectual growth. The journey towards a more balanced and effective educational approach starts with awareness and a willingness to adapt. The editors.